Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Russell, this is Raspberry Rock. I want to start today's video with something special. Last Thursday, uh, of course, we had the Aurora Borealis thing happening, the Northern Lights thing happening, and pretty much everywhere across North America, from what I've seen and heard, everybody saw it. <clears throat> um, I was uh, editing my video, last week's video, on Thursday night, and I was live streaming it for members. And uh, people are talking about it in chat. And I jumped up and I ran out and I'm like, I don't really see anything. And then Christy persuaded me to put a camera out, eventually. <laughs> So I did, I put a, my GoPro out in time-lapse on the deck here. <clears throat> and every once in a while I, ju I jump out of my chair and I come out and I think, I think, I guess, maybe, uh, I guess, maybe, I don't know. You know, <clears throat> and after I was done editing the video, I came out and I sat in the uh, chair here for a while, watching and thinking, I don't see shit. <laughs> I, uh, maybe something's happening. Anyway, the camera caught it a lot better than my eyes did, obviously. Uh, so I'm going to show you the video that I got from that, that time, that nighttime time lapse. Because the camera, you know, the camera has a nighttime time lapse mode. <clears throat> and it has auto settings, so it's going to adjust the ISO, the shutter speed, whatever, uh, to get the best nighttime picture. Right? Way better than my eyes could. And uh, it caught something pretty cool. So I'm going to play it for you now, and uh, I hope I picked really good music for it. Oh god. No. That's terrible. Um, I, I'm sure I picked better music than that. Okay, let's roll it. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. I wish I'd seen it with my own eyes. Um, and pretty wild that, like in any picture I've, I've ever seen of the Aurora Borealis, there were no reds or pinks or whatever color that was. I'm not very good with colors. <clears throat> Where did that come from? And there's no, I didn't play with any of the color settings when I was, when I did that. That was just straight from the camera. That's the camera with just ISO, shutter speed, and um, what's the other thing? F, the F. Thing, F value, uh, you know, that's just auto values. I didn't like s saturate that at all or anything. That's just raw video. So pretty cool stuff. <clears throat> I wish I could have seen it. I wish I could have sat here and seen that. But anyway, it's pretty neat to see in a video. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, why am I holding this cable? Um, I was at Staples yesterday uh, shopping for a bin, you know, a bin. And I thought, oh, I need a, a cable for my car to charge my phone. So I went over to the cable section. And a USB-A to USB-C cable was $26 plus tax, uh, 10 feet. And I went, that's a lot of money for a cable. Yeah, that's the same cable that they put in everything that you buy these days. Right? <clears throat> Here, Here's a little charging cable to go with the thing you just bought. So I didn't buy it. I was like, screw that. Uh, then I had to stop at Home Hardware on the way home and get a tennis ball for unrelated reasons. And I just happened to see a display with these cables hanging there. Exact same cable in Staples, $10. <laughs> like, what? <clears throat> Even $10 sounds like a little much for these cables, but this is actually a pretty good one. It's not the regular plastic, it's like braided line. So, a really good cable, 10 bucks. I just don't know. I, the only thing I can think of is in Staples, there, you know, it's in the phone accessories section. So after you've bought a $1,000 phone and you've bought a $200 case to go on your phone, spending $26 on a cable sounds about right, I guess, right? Annoying. Anyway, it's Thursday. City Girl comes back today. She was away for a couple of days. Yeah, looking forward to seeing her. 
and the leaves are still on the trees here at Raspberry Rock. Any day now, there's going to be, a, we're going to get a windy day and it's just going to go. Like, you know, those, what am I trying to say? Those balloon, those air thing, flying happy dance. Oh my God, what are they called? Yeah, you know, they blow air. You see them at car dealerships? I don't know what that has to do with blowing leaves, but... Okay, I should probably end the segment. <clears throat> I lost my neck warmer. Uh, lost isn't the right word. I misplaced it. I don't know where it is. It's a... Uh, you've seen it in other videos. It's camo on one side and then you flip it inside out and it's hunter orange on the other. Like this kind of orange. Ugh. It's here somewhere. So this is... Um, came with a kitchen when we bought it. And it uh, didn't fit in the kitchen so I put it over here by the door to put stuff in. This big hubby here which I guess is for an oven. Really? This is where stuff just gets put. <laughs> so it's full of stuff. It's a good hat. Yeah. <clears throat> and so this is my go-to for looking for it. We don't really use this. This is the way it could be used. There's almost nothing up here. There's a couple of jackets. And then this drawer is um, like screws and... Now I got earmuffs in here, a safety glasses and a sock, you know, de lots of deck screws, <clears throat> and my Velcro tape, which I just used, tape measures, and then we've got other stuff down here that we'll probably never use. I know, City Girls flip-flops are in here, and there's some hats. Yeah, we could throw half this stuff out. Oh, I forgot about this. There's a hiking bag that has a, um, a water... Uh, what is it called? Water thingy in it, I think? Yeah, so you can... Um, there it is. <clears throat> I'm not going to pull it out because I don't want to put it back in. It's got a water membrane in there, and then you've got a hose there on this side so you can drink. I totally forgot about this. Should use that. <clears throat> and then on the bottom, I don't know if you can see this, but we've got some winter stuff, hats, mitts. I've got this, which isn't my regular neck warmer. It's a um, kind of a lower face warmer. You wear it like that so your nose goes through the thing. So I've worn this on the ATV sometimes. It's a good addition to the regular neck warmer. So a neck warmer and then this. And then if you can put something over your face like um, some glasses I've never used here. <clears throat> I've never I've never used these because they come in uh, two sets. So I, the other one's sitting in the car. I've used those. Just never opened these ones. <clears throat> anyway, love to find my neck warmer. Oh, there's this hat. This beauty. Come on, isn't that wonderful? Almost needs a strap to keep the ears down. Oh, what's the point of that? <clears throat> Alright. It'll turn up. It'll be in a pocket or something. My coats. Maybe. The remnants of old GoPro clamp mounts. <clears throat> They're useless as GoPro mounts, but they work as clamps. I don't know what I'm keeping them. Do we have mini clamps? Wee, 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 wee. These are, we bought these, actually Al bought these, to hold up the green screen when we're on the cruise to do this special feature. 
Okay, that's it. I, I gotta go get to your. Oh shit! I gotta. I really gotta go. Okay. It is so ridiculously beautiful in the bush right now. I think that, like, I don't have a spider web catcher up at the moment, but like, <clears throat> makes me wish I could look in different directions at the same time, you know? Like, if I could point my eyes in, in different directions. No, that didn't work. Hi. You, yeah, you good doggies? You good? You happy? Are you happy? Yeah? Like, like you some loving? Uh oh, adventure, adventure awaits. Oh, I've got helmet woman here. <laughs> helmet woman. Huh. Sorry, we just had lunch at a <laughs> pub in Madoc. It was really good, but it was really filling. I had a big burger, and we had three different kinds of fries. That's right. <laughs> which we brought with us. <laughs> which I, I don't know why I'm laughing so hard at that. Three different kinds of fries. Anyway, what do you think? Is it beautiful out here? Or what? It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you haven't been here in like two days mm -hmm. so it is good to have you back thanks good to be back felt like a long time oh. all right let's get to the cabin <laughs> do you, <laughs> does it annoy you when i stop the atv and pull out the camera and you're like come on i just want to get because i gotta come pee on. <laughs> <laughs> or you're really really hungry and like you yeah, want food <laughs> but it's not friday it's and we just ate and like we could walk the rest. You want to walk the rest away? No, I gotta pee. Oh, you actually had to walk. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, we're going. <laughs> so she's peeing right now. Like, I'm not the kind of guy that harps on things, but it would be nice to know how much you know she pees before we got married. Is all I'm saying. Not that. Not that it matters. Do you see what I see when I'm looking at here? This is an empty six pack muffin container of cranberry lemon muffins, which I really would have loved to have eaten, but someone ate them all. I was away for two days and I come back and now this is an empty muffin container. Where am I in all of this? If he's the kind of guy that does this sort of thing, then I need to have known this before I married him.
so uh, I forgot to mention, about a week ago, was it a week ago? I went and got all the tomatoes from the garden and brought them in, which is good because we had frost a couple of nights ago. And I got them all sitting over by those windows where all the pine has been sitting for years. Uh, and we've been picking the red ones out as they turn red, which is nice, really nice because we are having them in sandwiches and stuff. Uh, yeah, so that's been good. And, uh, yeah, otherwise just enjoying the fall colors here. I'm going to get a shot just like this because this is really nice. And, <clears throat> just in case you're curious, somebody's enjoying the chair. <laughs> and I'm not making her do it. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Like, look at this. Beautiful. Well, look at that. What are we having for dinner? Wings and sweet potato fries. Oh baby, what time is it? I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, a tick on you? On her, on her head. Oh, oh it wasn't attached though, right? No. It's still growing. <laughs> well, don't kill it. What do you mean don't kill it? Did you kill it? Okay, you have to wash your hands now. Oh, right. I never found out, like, just killing it with your fingers, you still end up with the yep. bad substance on your fingers. Well, I should just dump it. Yeah, just dump it. See, you... No, the dogs are on flea and tick medication. So while they may get ticks on them, as soon as they bite into the dog, I'm not sure what happens if they die or if it's just really distasteful and they jump off or what, I don't seem to have any on me. But this is why I wear beige pants in the woods. Life in the wilderness continued. Chapter 17. Did they get all my ooing? Huh? They didn't get all my ooing, did they? Oh, but the tick, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it is 17 and a half degrees Celsius, 63 Fahrenheit, 64 Fahrenheit, 63 and a half. This is wonderful weather. We got the telescope out last night, and we're still learning how to get the best pictures with it. Uh, trying out new lenses and stuff, and uh, you seeing this? <clears throat> We're gonna try again tonight. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta. Um, it takes it takes batteries, like eight batteries, but they run out really fast. Like they run down really fast. So I'm gonna. I've got a power station. I'm gonna run over there, but it's heavy. So I'm going to use the uh, ATV to run it over. Do you want to watch that? Do you want to see me do that? Nice. Right, hey, come. Let's do it. <clears throat> I'd really like to uh, get a camera that goes with the telescope. So right now I have to put my cell phone, um, like hook it up, and it just, it's just such a pain to use, and it, the pictures aren't that great. And, you know, it's blurry and stuff, but... Like a telescope camera, you puts right into the slot, right? So, and they often have like live output, so you can sit there looking at a like a screen, like a, a tablet or something, at exactly what your camera is looking at. And I put one in City Girl's Amazon wish list. Her birthday's coming up. <laughs> I shouldn't be putting stuff in her wish list, should I? But yeah, I'll put her wish list like in somewhere down below. So if you want to get her something for her birthday, it's in November, late November.
coming? Jimbo's just barking at me. Coming out here at night after you've had a few drinks is uh, interesting, <laughs> but this is where uh, this is where we do it right here, and uh, it's not a bad spot for it. Here's okay, that's um, hmm. I guess that's north right there. So westish, south, east. Not bad. We went and ran into this one problem last night where Saturn was behind this pine tree here and Jupiter was behind this over here. And I'm like, you know what? If I if I step back to like here, I can see Saturn. And if I step over to here, I can see Jupiter. Um, but you can't set, move the telescope once you got it set up because it's uh, it has auto align. Like you, you have to align it before you use it, and then it knows where everything is in the sky, and you can just say, show me Saturn, show me Jupiter. And if you move the telescope, then you gotta set it all over again. It took me like 20 minutes to get it set the first time. Anyway. So I went against my better judgment, and probably everybody else's too, and uh, brought the telescope out by ATV. <laughs> I had a one arm. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. That was really awkward. I shouldn't have done that. Can I open this without? Oh, there we go. Where are we? Wild. I'm in there. Alright, we're gonna put that back on for now. Yep. Pretty neat little unit. Now we just have to wait for darkness. Which full moon was last night. <laughs> it doesn't get all that dark. I guess I can just leave that here. Yeah, it doesn't get all that dark. <sighs> Generally, when people take pictures of the planets, <coughs> they'll take a whole bunch of pictures, and then they run it through software, and the software kind of picks the best one, and then they colorize it somehow, and whatever. <coughs> Big process. But I'll show you the pictures we got of Jupiter and Saturn last night. Unedited. Didn't run through any process. It's just me with my phone going click. Well, actually put a 10 second delay because you go click and the whole thing vibrates, right? But here they are, Jupiter and Saturn. And here's something of the moon. Yep, that's the moon, all right. I think by the end, because it was so cold, um, the glass over the, uh, I'm not sure what it's called, over the end of the telescope was fogging up. So we weren't getting the best images. <sighs> but you'll have to wait for next week to see if we got anything good tonight. <laughs> oh, there's my shadow. Hate that guy. <laughs> so that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Next Friday, the 25th is a Friday. And it's the last Friday before Halloween, so we will be live streaming that Friday evening. We call it a Books Fest. Our Halloween Books Fest. So we haven't been live streaming much these days, so I hope you can join us for that. And I got nothing else, so see you in the next video. Peace out! <laughs> you missed that's, all of that. That's really cute. She thought the camera was rolling. Okay. <laughs> 
supposed to say? Before Got we it. get married. Do I have to do this all over again? That this would I this is what I was marrying into. I never would have married him into the first place. Oh, did I mess it up again? What? What is it? Sorry, I completely forgot. <laughs> All right, good job. <laughs> Do you have like a blooper reel of yeah, all there, there, of the outtakes that we've ever done? Well, there will be for this <laughs> video.